Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to continue on with Neville Goddard's Feeling is a Secret. We're on chapter two. We're going to dis discuss sleep in this video. So if you want to watch this entire training in one episode, I'll post it here. It's about 30 minutes long. But other than that, let's get rock and rolling and dart over to sleep. Now let's move on to chapter two, sleep. Now this is where we kind of, kind of we're starting to fine tune kind of how to do Neville Goddard's technique. What's really going on? Now, when we talk about sleep, this is where you enter the subconscious mind. When we talk about sleep, sleep, in my opinion, this is the best manifesting technique. Now we have to ask ourselves, why? Why is this the best technique? Let's kind of go into some theory here. Now, when we talk about sleep, sleep equals one third of our life on earth. So, I mean, it's just basic math. If you take, if, if an average person sleeps eight hours a day, okay, if you divide that by three, 24 hours a day divided by three, that's one third. So sleep takes up at least one third of your life. That's why when you influence your subconscious mind, what you go to sleep to is influence your subconscious mind because that's one third of your life. Okay, even if you break it down in just one day, that's, and you slept for eight hours, seven hours, eight hours, nine, 10 hours. Well, during that time, you've influenced your subconscious mind. Whatever you fell asleep to, whatever you fell asleep thinking about is, is shaping your life, is influencing your subconscious mind. That's why it's so powerful. Then the remaining two thirds of your life on earth is measured by the attention we give to sleep. I'll read that one more time to you because it's really powerful. The remaining two thirds of your life on earth, your waking hours, okay, your two thirds, I'm awake, I'm doing my routine, going to work, driving around, going to parties, doing what I do, doing my hobbies, is measured by the attention we give to sleep. Now, what that means is it's measured by the attention we, we give to sleep is that what are we falling asleep to? What state am I thinking about when we fall asleep? That's going to transform my world. If I'm falling asleep to negative things, well, my life is going to start and my visible world is going to start become more and more negative or more negative things are going to start happening to me. What you have in your consciousness as you go to sleep is the measure of expression into the waking two thirds of your life. That's what we've just been talking about. What you have in your consciousness as you drift off to sleep is the measure of expression into your waking two thirds of your life. This is what you really have to come to terms with. What you really have to believe is what we think about, we actually transform, actually kind of starts to happen or occur slowly into our visible world. What we go to sleep to starts to happen slowly into our visible world. Okay, this is why a lot of us are, especially nowadays, a lot of us are in such bad habits when we develop, develop a sleep routine. When, when, when I tell someone to develop a sleep routine, okay, this, I'm not talking about a great big routine. All I'm talking about, you go to bed five or 10 minutes before you're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> How hard is that? Then as you lay there and you drift off to sleep, you start thinking about your attention. You start thinking about what you want or you start developing an emotional state around it and you're trying your best to fall asleep in that state. It's not gonna work perfect, okay? But you're trying your best to fall asleep in that state of your intention, your want, a positive state. That's what you're trying to do. But what happens is people don't people don't wanna do it, <laughs> okay? Now, now sometimes you, you live with a significant other and sometimes they're messing up your bedtime routine. Other times you have the TV on, you're watching TV in a sleepy state or you're watching TV as you drift off to sleep. So your, con your subconscious mind is awake. It's listening to what you're watching, okay? A lot of us are on our phones clear up until we go to sleep and then we're, the only, only, only way we put our phone down is we put our phone down and I'm like, <sighs> you know what I mean? So whatever we're watching, seeing right before we go to sleep is what we're actually producing into our lives. Why? <laughs> we always have to ask this question, why? Never go to sleep feeling stressed, sad, thinking about failures, thinking about negative things or any other unbelief. Okay, what we're trying to do is even in the beginning, if it's hard for you to think about your intention, it's hard for you, hard for you to think about millions of dollars, your dream vacation, your dream car. Okay, eventually you're, you're shift into that. Okay, it will get easier and easier and easier. But even if you keep it basic is don't fall asleep when you're stressed, sad, Okay, you're falling asleep, you hate work, you hate your boss at work, and then you go inside your imagination and you create this great big scene, negative scene inside your imagination, then you actually drift off to sleep. <laughs> you 
know what I mean? You know how to do this stuff. Everybody knows how to do this stuff, but we do it in the opposite way, okay? We don't do it in a positive way, okay? When I say, let's think about your dream vacation, and it's so hard for you to sit there and think about your dream vacation to produce a feeling around it and go to sleep. But yet, very easily, you can produce a feeling state on your boss you hate at work. Then you, you can go inside your imagination and you can think about it. And when you think about it, you get angry and you get mad. You get sad or anxiety or whatever feeling it causes, causes that it kind of brings up in you. Then you go to sleep in that state. <laughs> what you have to master is in the beginning, stop going to sleep when you feel anxiety. Stop going to sleep when you, have, when you think about failures or negative things or you're sad or you're stressed. Start just thinking positive, develop positive affirmations. So sometimes I've done this, I've produced positive affirmations and I'm just repeating them almost like a lullaby. I kind of learned it from Joseph Murphy where you're just repeating it over and over and over and over. And what you're trying to do is repeat it over and over and over and over and over until you go to sleep. Now this is the key. Always feel the wish fulfilled before you drift off to sleep. That's what we've been talking about here. You always feel feel the wish fulfilled before you go drift off to sleep. And what that means is you feel the wish fulfilled. Okay, if you want if you want to be a millionaire, you always feel what it would feel like, what it would be like if if you're a millionaire right now. You act as if inside your imagination. And that's how you drift off to sleep. You drift off to sleep in that state. So you always feel your wish fulfilled before you drift off to sleep. That's the habit where you got like, you have to get into every time you go to sleep at night or at any time you take a nap, you get in a habit that you're always thinking about your intention. You're always thinking about what, what you want. You're always thinking about your wish fulfilled. Then you try your best to drift off to sleep in that state. Now, to kind of help you out, like how do I produce a feeling state? How do I get better at producing a feeling state? How do I get better at producing a positive emotion around what I want? This is the question I want you to ask yourself. How would I feel if my wish was realized? I repeat it one more time. How would I feel if my wish was realized? What that means is, how would I feel if I had a million dollars in a bank right now? How would you feel if your dream car was in your garage right now? How would you feel if you're going on your dream vacation tomorrow? And you start asking yourself the right questions, that produces a feeling state. You start getting excited, you start imagining, you go inside your imagination, you start thinking about it. And once you produce that feeling state, the only trick here <laughs> that's a little bit difficult is going to sleep in that state. That's the only trick. That's the only thing you gotta do. Once you start getting good at this, the only thing you gotta do is go to sleep in that state, <laughs> which is which is a little bit difficult. You know, what I mean, it's, it's hard for me too. You know, what I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm producing such a such a terrific feeling state, such a terrific emotion around it, because I'm asking myself this type of question when I'm laying there, and I don't flip and go to sleep. <laughs> so I feel you on that. The the trick is to try to get it, time it perfectly where you can drift off to sleep. 